Hey guys, I'm back again to show you some really cool stuff I've hatched out. I'm super, super excited about this clutch I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes. First, we're going to cut a clutch here. Um, so I'm shooting for more clown pides. Uh, I haven't really had very good odds with my clown pides over the past year or so. I think I've only produced one this year so far, and I think I hit on one last year. Uh, so yeah, just haven't really produced very many clown pies. A lot of other double recessives I hit a lot, but for some reason, clown pides have been a little bit tough for me lately. So let's just cut into this clutch and see what we got here. Uh, so this clutch is pastel clown pied to pastel double het clown pied. So we got six nice eggs here. So let's just see what we got. Pastel clown. I don't see any. I think that's just a pastel clown, no pied in that. Another pastel clown. Again, no pied. Another one. So those pastel clowns will all be 100% hat pied, of course. Wow, nice blushing on that one. Crazy odds on the pastel clowns, but man, where are the pieds? Well, here's a pied. Really nice pied. I have some kind of color enhancing gene going on in my clown pied project too. I'm not sure what it is yet or if it's an actual specific gene. Uh, but a lot of my clown pied stuff have really, really bright and intense colors. Such as this one. So yeah, unless any of these are really, really low white pieds, which I don't think they are, um, I didn't hit on any. Actually, you know what? Some of these are, are killer clowns too. Like that one's obviously a killer clown. That one maybe. That's just a pastel. I think that's just a pastel. That's a pastel. So yeah, did awesome on the clowns. I mean, the overall the clutch is pretty good. I just didn't hit on what exactly what I was hoping, which was the pastel clown pied or at least a clown pied. So we got one, two, three, five clowns and one pied in the clutch. I'll take it, but hopefully the next clutch will turn out better. I've got a lot of people wanting clown pieds right now, so it'd be nice to be able to supply those. Okay, so now I want to show you this clutch that hatched out a couple of weeks ago. They're actually going to get set up in the racks behind me, wherever there's open space, um, in a little while later today. But I just wanted to share this clutch with you. Now, if you guys are on, um, if you guys like my Instagram page or Facebook page, you've seen pictures of some of the best out of this clutch already. But if not, here you go. Okay, so this clutch was produced by breeding a banana calico yellow belly clown to a black pastel het clown. So let's start going through these. And I, I really haven't even looked at this entire clutch very well either. Um, I just saw a couple of snakes in there that I was just blown away by. Um, so I, I really haven't worked out the genetics of all these yet. But this one's a yellow belly black pastel and that's het for clown. Here's a calico, I'd say calico yellow belly. It's hat for clown, of course. I 
on a really nice yellow belly clown. Look at that pattern. And another one, I don't, I think that one's a yellow belly too. Or oh, actually, you know what, this one I think is a, this is a calico clown. So that's a calico clown. This is a yellow belly. This one actually may be a yellow belly calico clown. Sometimes calico and yellow belly can be a little bit harder to figure out which one's which. They both kind of, the, the calico has more of this uniformly washed out look along the bottom, you know, leading up into the side saddles. That's absolutely a calico clown. This one I know is a yellow belly clown. I'm not 100% sure on calico. It's just, it's not quite washed out enough down along the belly. Either way, really nice. Okay, this is a big clutch by the way too. There were nine eggs in this clutch. Um, okay, the last non-clown is a Banana, yellow belly, I'd say banana calico yellow belly, pet clown. I'm sorry, that's a banana black pastel calico yellow belly hat clown. I think I forgot the black pastel part of that initially. Okay, then here we have another, I guess another non-clown. So this is a banana, I think this is a banana calico yellow belly hat clown. So we'll move the two clowns over here, put all the hats here. Okay, then this is a banana calico clown. I don't think there's any yellow belly in that one. Okay, and now is when it's gonna start getting really crazy. Look at that. I think that that is a black pastel banana calico yellow belly clown. I'm pretty sure there's black pastel in that one. I mean, it looks very different from this one. Much darker, more purples. But then when I saw this one, and I know this one is a black pastel banana clown got to be calico. I'm wondering if this one doesn't have yellow belly in it. It's got to be a calico though. Look at that ringer. His father has that too. Not quite to that extent, but almost looks like a really low white cl clown pied. So that's the whole clutch. Pretty crazy stuff, I think. Um, you know, I mean, I'm just absolutely blown away by these two. I love them all, though. I mean, they all just turned out so nice. But uh, I think I think these two may be possibly two of my favorite clowns that I've ever hatched out. And this one, I mean, the color is so intense. I really love the way this one looks, really smooth and all those lavender colors in there and the, I don't know, pinks and all kinds of different colors. But... I just love the, oh, snappy little guy. Uh, I just love the, I don't love that snake as much now. Um, but I love the contrast and just the bright, intense colors of that one. Just amazing. Oh. 
All right, well, I could sit and stare at these things all day long, but I got a lot of work to do. We've got, I think, uh, nine or ten clutches that I got to get set up in here today. I also want to feed this whole wall of babies today. These are all the newest ones that just hatched over the past uh, two weeks. I want to get a meal in them today. And, uh, yeah, got shipments to pack up, all kinds of other things to do, too. Busiest time of the year right now, so um, I'm going to get to work and get some of this stuff done. So I hope you guys like that. Um, I will be back again very soon with some more. I've got a lot of awesome stuff to show. Uh, make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Uh, hopefully by next week, maybe the week after, I'm going to try to get some of the stuff at least up on the website for sale. I still have some stuff left from 2020 and a few early 2021s, but there's going to be a lot of new content on my website coming up really quick. So stay tuned for that. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would. And I'll be back again very soon with another video showing some more awesome stuff. See you guys later.